Hi, Bob Anderson back again to talk more about armchair developer strategies. This is the third video in this third video series. You might remember from video two, we had a look at the important considerations for an armchair developer. In particular, in order of importance, we talked about the developer's experience, how important that is. And also, what is the security being offered? And does it require compliance, asset compliance? Okay, now we're gonna move on to the third point, and that is structure and documentation. So the point is, what is the structure being offered for this investment? It could be an equity investment in which the investor is supplying equity into the project, therefore they become part of the project. They're in there, they might be on the title, uh, they might be on the development loan, and that is an equity situation. A lot of the time it might be a debt or a loan situation where the investor simply is outside of the project and lends money to the development entity. That is a loan or if you like debt and they're different structures so it's important to understand the difference between the two and what the offer is. Which camp does it fall in? Is it equity or debt? In regards to when is the documentation or what is the documentation being offered? Now depending on whether it's an equity situation or a debt situation it could be a joint venture agreement that stems more around the equity situation. A loan document well that would be more around the debt situation. And we talked about before as well about security. So are there mortgages involved? Are there, for instance, a first or a second registered mortgage? These things are important in regards to the structure and the documentation. So you need to understand that. Finally, point four is the interest rate or the profit share. Can you notice that this is the last part of what we're going to discuss? Now, a lot of people concentrate on the interest rate. This is where people can get into trouble and what I found is they get mesmerized by a high interest rate. And so their first question is when somebody says, oh, would you like to invest in my property? They say, oh, what's the, what interest rate are you offering? That is the last thing you would wanna know because as yet you can't decide what the appropriate interest rate is. Is it an equity situation? Uh, is it a loan situation? It is, if it is a loan situation, the experience of the developer, that will dictate somewhat the interest rate on the investment. Also the security, that has a big part to play. Is it unsecured? Is it secured by a first mortgage? A huge difference in security. All these things influence the interest rate. Or if it is an equity situation, is it a profit share? That's important as well. So if it is an equity, it won't be an interest rate, it'll be more of a profit share. And in which case, what is that profit share? And if it's more of a uh, debt situation, a loan in other words, what is the interest rate? Also be careful when somebody quotes an interest rate, is it an annualized interest rate or is it a flat rate over the project? For instance, if somebody was offering 15% interest on a project, is that 15% per annum or is that 15% over the life of the project? It could be a two year project, in which case the interest rate is more like a half of 15%. So, there's lots of things to know, there's lots of things to look out for, but hey, overall, investing in property developments is a great way of making money. It's a proven way of making money. You just need to understand what to look out for, the sort of questions you need to ask to make a commercially sound decision. So if you'd like to know more about armchair developer strategies, download our free ebook. The link is on the bottom. And if you need to know any more, got any questions, there we are there. Feel free to email us, admin at propertymastermind.com.au or even give us a tingle on the phone.